Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel! As you can see in today's video, we're going to be playing Kataria Fables. Before I start, I do just want to say thank you so much to everyone at Kataria Fables for sending me this game in early access. I've been looking forward to playing this game for so long and I was so overwhelmingly excited when I saw that they wanted to send me the game in early access to play on the channel for all of you. So thank you so much to everyone who works with Kataria Fables for sending me this game in early access. I'm so, so grateful and it really Really does help me make more fun content for all of you because I can't always afford to go and get all the games I want to play on the channel with you all so when I do get sent them to play like this it is so so helpful so thank you so much and of course I want to say thank you to all of you for watching and supporting me because without all your love and support I probably would have never been sent this game to play and I'm really excited to play it if you don't know about Katari Fables this is an upcoming game for the Nintendo Switch and I think it's going to be available on PlayStation, Xbox and Steam as well. As you can see, the character designs are absolutely adorable. To me, it looks like a cross between My Time at Portia and Animal Crossing. So I'm really excited to play this game. And so with all that out of the way, why don't we get started? Legends speak of a time that Kanoidera faced the calamity. Once docile monsters were driven into a violent rage by a mysterious power. Brave heroes assembled to protect the people. After an arduous battle, the monsters were defeated and the mysterious power subsided. People returned to their normal lives and peace was restored. Or so we thought. There have been whispers of the calamity returning once more, with no heroes remaining to fight against it. What is the cause of this mysterious power? Will Kanoidera ever be truly at peace? We've been searching for hours and we still can't find the village. I'm so tired. Macaroon, how cute is she? Are you sure that Commander Blue gave us the right directions? I'm starting to doubt it. What did we do wrong that he would send us so far from the capital, huh? Gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness, she's so cute. Oh, look at our character. We're so adorable. We're a little cat. We're a little grey cat. How cute are we? Oh my goodness, this world is adorable. I love this art style. Look at this lovely little bridge. It's like Animal Crossing. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my goodness, this town looks so like foresty and peaceful. According to the map, the village should be close, right? By the way, wandering around unfamiliar places is quite dangerous, don't you think? We should be prepared for anything. You know, in case some monsters decide to ambush us. Of course, I'm hoping that doesn't happen. You should equip your weapon before we move on. Okay, I got a beginner sword. Okay, so we need to equip our weapon. I imagine there's going to be monsters across this little red line. So let me just equip that. Oh, we also have milk in our pocket because we're a little cat. That is so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm ready to move on. All set? Good. Let's get moving. Okay, here we go. Huh? What's going on? Oh no. Oh my goodness, she looks like Ruby from Animal Crossing. Oh no, she's being attacked. Some gooeys are surrounding somebody. They aren't usually so aggressive towards people. Gosh, that poor kid, what do we do? <laughs> help her, or I don't know. <laughs> oh, help her, obviously. You're right, we should never abandon someone in need. Are you ready? Here we go. Hey, you over there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Didn't your parents ever tell you to be kind to others, especially elders and kids? If you want someone to spar with, find someone who can fight back. Like us right here. Uh, yeah, right. Okay, so we aren't that strong, but you should find that out for yourself. Uh-oh. <laughs> here they come. Get ready. The classic fighting the little gooeys as the first monster. Oh my goodness, what the heck? Oh my goodness, what? Oh my gosh, I didn't expect them to be... I didn't expect them to be so, like, aggressive. Oh my goodness. Ah! Oh no! Ah. Okay, just one more. I feel so bad killing them because they're so cute. Phew, no sweat. Macaroon, did you even do anything? <laughs> hey kid, are you okay? That was awesome! I've never seen anyone fight like that. Ho ho ho, that's because we've been training for years. Pretty cool though, right? Anyway, we probably should escort you home. It's getting late, right Nyan? Oh, our character's name's Nyan. Thank you, kind travellers. I live not far from here. Come on, I'll show you the way. Oh my goodness, look at this lovely village. It's so cute. Oh my goodness, doesn't it look so cosy? 
Oh, look at that little rabbit character. Grampy. Oh my goodness, look how cute that little goat is. Oh, my precious kid, thank goodness. I was worried you might get into trouble. She was already in trouble, I might add. <laughs> I told you not to play too far from the village, Erin. It is still dangerous out there. I'm sorry, Grampy. There was a pretty dragonfly near the river that I wanted to catch. Then I ended up bumping into some angry monsters. I was so afraid, Grampy. I'm glad these two were there to help me. Thank you, brave travellers. <laughs> you should be more mindful of your surroundings next time. Thank you for helping my granddaughter. I hope she doesn't cause you any more trouble. Bah, where are my manners? Welcome to Paul Village. I'm Olva, the village chief. May I ask who you are? Oh, Paul Village, great. We've been looking for this place for hours. I'm Macaroon, and this is Nyanza Von Whiskers. <laughs> I love our name, oh my goodness. Our commander sent us here after receiving word that nearby monsters were causing a disturbance. Ah, soldiers from the capital city. Thank goodness you're finally here. That's right, we've been having some problems with monsters outside the village. They seem more aggressive lately, and it's causing us nothing but trouble when gathering resources from nearby areas. Nobody here can fight, so we needed to seek help from the capital city. Don't worry, Chief. From now on, we'll take care of those problems so you can live in peace. Thank you very much. I feel much safer knowing you're here now. It's getting late. Please feel free to stay the night at our house if you'd like. Oh, that's okay, Chief. Actually, we already have a place to stay. Do you know the way to Uncle Payne's old place? Are you one of Payne's relatives? Oh, yes. Nyanza is his grandchild. It's a pity we couldn't visit him when he was still around. I hope he won't mind us staying at his old house for a while. <laughs> Don't worry, brave soldiers. Payne Thunderbum was one of the kindest men I ever knew. I know he'd be glad to let you stay. You are a relative after all. Please follow me. I'll show you the way to his old house. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't get how cute everyone is. Oh, it's sunset now. It might look shabby from the outside, but it's quite spacious and comfortable within. I hope you enjoy your stay here. As long as there are comfy beds, it'll be perfect. Thanks for bringing us here, Chief. You must be tired from your journey. I won't keep you any longer. Please rest. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Night. Let's go home, Erin. Good night, Macaroon. Good night, Nyanza. <laughs> oh my goodness, she's so cute. Oh, so this is our new home. We're finally here. Let's go inside and get some rest. My feet hurt. Gosh. Oh my goodness, so this is our lovely home. We have a box, I imagine, to sell things. Classic. Some wood logs over here. Oh, it's becoming night time. And here's our little home. Oh my goodness, look how magical and lovely this looks. Ooh, there's a, we can change our appearance. I thought so, because I saw in the trailer that there was different character types. So we can be grey and white, we can be a black cat, calico, white, tabby, or chocolate. Oh my goodness, guys, if you know me, you know tabby cats are my favourite, because my cat Archie is a tabby cat, though he's a brown tabby cat, not ginger. The grey and white one is so cute, but I think I might just go for tabby because... I feel like it just vibes with me. So I think I'm going to go with this one. That's so cute. We can change which type of cat we are. It looks like we'll have different outfits and stuff later on as well. But for now, I guess we need to go to sleep. Okay, and it's the morning now. Also, I'm really sorry, guys, if you can hear this, like, horrible noise, like humming noise in the background. My neighbour is mowing his grass at the worst time. <laughs> okay, so here we are at our new home, Thunderbun Farm. I wonder was our granddad a bunny rabbit then, if it's Thunderbun? So down here we have a well, and this must be our farm. So there's all these rocks and stuff, I can't seem to pick these up though. There's a treasure chest, but it's locked. Okay, and there's stuff we need to build using the materials on our farm. This farm is actually really big. Oh my goodness, that's so exciting, I can't wait to start growing things. And we can ship things in this little box. Oh my goodness, and there's practice targets, we can attack these. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so much fun. I really didn't expect this game to be so combat based, but I really like it. Look at these lovely yarrow flowers. So I guess why don't we head into town and see what we have to do today? <sighs> What's wrong, Tim? Did something happen? Monsters chased. Oh no. Good morning, everyone. Eh? Did something happen? You don't look so good. Ah, young soldiers, good morning. I hope you're well rested. Our provisioner here seems quite troubled with something. Take a deep breath, Tim, then tell us what happened. I... I was on the way back from picking up some goods for the shop. When I reached by River Field, I was surprised by a group of orcs as if they were waiting for me. Orcs? Oh my goodness, that's scary. 
I was so scared, Chief. I dashed away as quickly as I could before they could get to me. But I left my bag behind. It has the things you need, Miss Apple and Sage Albie requested. What am I supposed to do? It's okay, Tim. At least you're not hurt. That's the most important thing right now. Young soldiers, I'm sorry for the sudden request. Would you be willing to help Timmy locate his things? As I mentioned, none of us here can fight, so you're our only hope. Soldiers? You can fight? Please, friends, please help me get my bag back. Alright, Chief, we'll help Timmy out. Besides, it's a tad strange that orcs decided to venture outside of their territory. I sure hope it isn't the calamity. We need to determine the cause and report to our commander. Very well. Please always be on your guard. I've heard nasty things about these bleating orcs. Tim, do you have any remaining supplies? Yes, I still have some croissants on me. <laughs> croissants, my favourite! Here, please take these. Eating them will replenish your health. Yes! Croissants! If you guys have been here for a while, you know croissants are like my favourite thing ever. Sorry for the trouble, friends. Please be careful. Thank you. Please wait for our return. This game is the absolute cutest. Okay, so we started a quest. Drop belongings. Let's see. We need to go... He said by River Field, right? There's Up River Field and West Pool Field. Hello. I'm bored. Can we do something fun later? He has such a cute character design. Look at these lovely little houses. Oh my goodness. Wouldn't you just love to live in such a cosy little village like this? Oh, I wonder what this is. Oh, a teleportation device. We only have unlocked Poor Village for now though. I suppose we'll unlock more later. So here we are at Up River Field. There's so many beautiful yarrow flowers. And there's a chest here. We got some apples. So let's keep exploring. What is that? Oh my goodness, there's a gooey hiding for us in the trees. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Why are they so quick? Oh my goodness, there's so many. Wait, they weren't even attacking me until I hit them. I feel bad now. I thought that they were going to attack me, but they were just hiding in the trees, and then I attacked them. Oh my goodness, I'm going to die. Oh my goodness, I'm so bad at this. What the heck? Oh wait, okay, I've done it. Thank goodness, I thought I was literally about to die. I was going to be so embarrassed. Getting killed by slime balls is like the most embarrassing thing that could ever happen to you while playing a video game. There's one left. Oh no. Okay, I think we got them all. Here we are at the forest entrance. There's even more gooeys, though, yeah, if I just run past them, they don't even attack me, so that's cool. What the heck is that? <gasps> okay, those are not friendly. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's a carrot with a skirt on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is so funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel so bad. It's little legs on the floor little carrot legs. I wonder whose house that is. We can't go in there, but it says there's a red line, so we will be able to go into that at some point. Where's by River Field? I'm confused. Um, We haven't unlocked it yet, but that's where we need to go for our quest. I suppose maybe we just have to find it on our own. Let's see, there's a chest over here. Um, Excuse me, Caro, can you leave me alone? Oh my goodness. <gasps> Oh my gosh, look at it. <laughs> I love them, what the heck? Oh, so we can't go that way. I suppose it's this way. I get lost in games very easily, so I do apologise. Okay, so we're back at Up River Field. What is it we're meant to be finding? Drop belongings. Go through Up River Field to West Pool Field and from there to By River Field. Okay. There's so many rivers and fields. Okay, so we're supposed to go to West Poorfield, um, and then I s assume across the bridge. Okay, here we are at West Poorfield. So I think we're going the right way now. I'm so sorry, I, I do just get lost really easily in games. What the heck is that? <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, this is very easy to navigate. It's just me that is um, dumb and gets lost in games. Tyler, my boyfriend, always bullies me about it when I'm playing games. I get lost in literally the most simplest games. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, here we are, and it's sunset now. Look how lovely everything looks. It's all glowing orange. Look how pretty this little bridge is. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. <gasps> oh, my oh my god, 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 oh my god. What the heck? Oh my god. What the heck is this? What is this? Ugly. <gasps> Oh my goodness, it's so ugly. I hate orcs, they creep me out. Oh my goodness, no, 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 okay. <laughs> I did it. 
I did it. It was actually very easy. Oh my goodness, there's another one. No. Oh my goodness, there's two. Oh my god. No. Oh my goodness. Leave. Get out of here. Please, you ugly. You're so ugly. Get away. Okay. Last one. I hope. We killed him. We did it, guys. Thank goodness. There's so many bridges. What's this way? A little forest area. Doesn't look like there's any monsters. Oh, there's a chest. We got some poor pennies. And looks like this is a dungeon or something. Uh, let's not go in there for now because I don't think that's where we're meant to be going. Where was it that he left the little bag? Oh, here it is. His little satchel. And we also got a chest, so we got some apples. Okay, so I guess we can head back and give these back to Timmy now. Yeah, report to Timmy at Paul Village. So let's head back to Paul Village and we can deliver his bag to him. Although it's really dark now, maybe we should go to sleep first. I'm worried that all the monsters are going to get even scarier at night time. Okay, here we are back at Paul Village. Let's see, I don't know where Timmy would be. Maybe he's still waiting outside the chief's house? No? He might be asleep because it's night time. So, oh, look at the little gooey farm. That's so cute. I think I'll head back to the house and get some sleep and then we can head back here in the morning. Oh, Kiki. Welcome to White Rabbits. We provide only the best quality fruit and vegetable seeds. Come and visit us from time to time. Oh my goodness, she is adorable. Oh, we have some storage here. Um, there's two croissants. Thank you. I'll be taking those. <laughs> The more croissants, the better, in my opinion. Okay, here we are. It's a brand new day. So let's head to Paul Village and deliver the bag to Timmy. Here he is. He's so small. <laughs> Hi. Oh, my bag. Thank you so much. You're my saviour. He gives a hundred poor pennies? You're curious about the orc's behaviour? I'm sorry, friends. I don't know much about it either. It surprised me too. But maybe... Just maybe Sage Albie might know something about this? Oh right, you've never met him before, have you? He's the village wise man, the most knowledgeable person I've ever met. I heard he used to be a professor at the Royal Academy. Even though I studied there, he never taught any of my classes, and none of the other professors ever seemed to talk about him. Do you want to meet him? I'm certain he can give you some information about what's happening. He lives on the outskirts of the village, the forest entrance to be exact. While you're at it, perhaps you could bring him this package? It's some stuff he requested from me. Don't lose it, alright? Now, I need to get organised and go deliver some packages myself. If you're ever in need of supplies, don't hesitate to come to my shop. See you again, friends! Okay, a new quest, a package for Albie. I assume that was the house that we went past in the forest entrance. Um, yeah, go to Northwest, the Sage's Cottage is in the forest entrance, and deliver Albie's package to Sage Albie. Um, so yeah, we've got to travel all the way back to the forest entrance. So that should be a long journey again today. I suppose we should head on our way. Make sure I go in the right direction this time. <laughs> Hopefully we don't run into any orcs this time around. Okay, here we are. I love his cottage. It's like surrounded by mushrooms. Like, look how cute that is. I wish I could live in a little cottage like this. Excuse me. Oh, he's a polar bear. He's very cute. Who are you? Uh, sorry to bother you. We're here to deliver you a package. Hmm. I don't know you. Go away. But, but you know the village provisioner. He asked us to bring this package to you. We're telling you the truth. Hmm. Give me the package and leave. Are you always this grizzly sage? We were told that you would know more about why monsters are becoming more aggressive. I'm sorry if it's rude to bring up when we just met, but you're supposed to have worked at the Royal Academy. Timmy said so. You of all people must be curious about it. We're trying to get as much information as we can to figure out how to deal with it. <sighs> That's at least what scholars in the city would do. Uh, sorry, we haven't properly introduced ourselves, and here I am questioning you. We're soldiers from the capital city assigned to protect Paul Village from monsters. I don't trust anyone claiming to be from the capital city. Leave immediately. But why? What happened? As far as I'm aware, the Empire rules well, both the city and the wider territory. Well, sometimes our commanders can be a bit harsh. I won't lie about that. But what they're doing is for the people's sake. <sighs> you are but mere cubs. You cannot understand. The only thing that matters to the Empire is power and how to conquer the world with it. You are the subjects. You say you're here to help us for now, but in the future, who knows? 
Perhaps they'll tell you to arrest someone who defies them. What? Look, Sage, I don't know what happened between you and the Empire, but I assure you that our purpose is to protect the people. We promise to maintain peace. If you find out that we're lying to you, you can drive us out of here by force. Um, seriously? It's the only way, Nyan. Otherwise, he'll never trust us. Why? Why have they sent you here? We don't need any help. We can bear the responsibility of defending the village ourselves. Oh, no you can't! It was the Chief Oliver who sent the request to the Royal Guard in the first place. He's worried that people won't be able to live normally if this situation continues. Why were we assigned to this place? Because I lost a bet with Commander Blue. You what? I'm joking. Commander Blue thought it might be easier to adapt to the area if we were assigned a place that our family was from. How I wish Uncle Payne was with us right now so I wouldn't have to deal with this pesky sage. Did you say Payne? You knew Payne Thunderbun? Oh gosh, why hadn't I thought of this earlier? Yes, we knew him. You didn't know he had a grandchild? Now you'll believe us? Grandchild? You're his grandchild? Me? Do I look like Uncle Payne? Was he as round and pink as I am? Apparently not, according to Archie. <laughs> it's Nyanza, of course, but you might notice they're from different species. I assure you they're the same family. Very well. If you are indeed his grandchild, you should have some idea about what happened between us scholars and the Empire. What? We've never heard anything about it. Our commander certainly hasn't told us anything. Do you know anything about it, Nyan? Nope, I know nothing. <laughs> so they haven't told you. Very well, take this. Ooh, a mysterious book. If you really are Payne's grandchild, you know what this is and how to use it. Come back to me once you've figured it out. Now be gone. <laughs> okay. Ugh, that annoying, arrogant sage. Why would he be so rude? This doesn't look like any ordinary book. Any idea what it is? Should we ask Timmy? He may know something. Okay, so that guy wasn't as friendly as I expected. <laughs> and if you can hear weird noises in the background, it is my cat, Archie. He is very excited right now and I don't know why. I think he was just as shocked as we were that that polar bear was not very friendly. But I still like him. I love mysterious characters. So honestly, when I was excited for this game, I didn't expect so much lore and so much combat as well. Um, so that's a really lovely surprise for me because I enjoy that stuff in games so much. And this story is really interesting. Hello, did you have a good rest? Please talk to the other villagers if you need something in particular, kid. Okay, so we need to find Timmy again. Okay, here's Timmy. Hi. <sighs> oh, hello my friends. Looking for something? Huh? You're not here to shop? Then how can I help? Assessing a mysterious item, you say? Hmm, let me see. Is this really yours? Where did you get it? You don't know what it is, huh? I thought someone from the city would be better informed. This, my friends, is a spell book. Items like this are forbidden, you know. You must have heard of magic wielders, surely. They're no mere rumour, I tell you. If they were, why would the Empire make some ridiculous law forbidding magic use? Simply owning a spell book is breaking the law. You could get accused of attempting treason. Don't worry, I'm not going to report you or anything. Besides, you're more likely to report it to your superiors. But I beg you, please don't do that. I knew someone who could perform magic, and he wasn't evil at all. He kept the village safe from monsters after the city decided to abandon Rivero Fortress. That's why I know that magic isn't something to be feared. It's not like what you hear in the city. Uh, I don't know if I should tell you much more about it. I suggest you go home and read the book. See if it changes your mind. At least then, if you decide to arrest the owner of the spell book, you know precisely what it contains. Not just because you're following some stupid law. Okay, so this is really interesting and important. Look how cute this apple is. Well, hello there. Why aren't you the new villager? My name is Apple. I run Apple's Eatery. If you're ever hungry and need to replenish your energy, feel free to come to me. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. Who is this over here, Rose? Living with Auntie Apple is hard. She always talks too much, but her food is delicious. <laughs> I love her ears. Oh my goodness, the characters are so adorable. Let's go meet this little bear over here. Welcome to Black Bear Blacksmith. I'm Shamrock. If you need to craft any equipment, you can come and find me here. He seems so jolly and kind, especially compared to the polar bear. <laughs> okay, so let's head home and read the book and see if it has any secrets for us. Oh, look how cute we are reading our book. Our house is so cozy. Hmm, what is going on? Did you make the correct decision? Do you desire to unleash the power within you? I wish only for your safety, after all. Quest complete? <gasps> Magical skills unlocked? Obtained viable skill? Hell yeah! I thought you were studying the book, but you fell asleep? Gosh! Huh? Did you have a weird dream? Unleash your power? What power? Perhaps it means... Let's go outside, Yan. Or were you planning to destroy the roof above our heads? You really are a good-for-nothing grandchild, aren't you? Macaroon, you were so rude! The heck? 
press said L to cast fireball. Okay, let's try it on the little little practice targets over here. <gasps> oh my goodness, that's going to make fighting so much easier. <laughs> Macaroon's little arms are so cute. Gosh, Yan, you used magic. Does that mean that Uncle Payne was... That pesky sage must know. Let's go find him. Okay. It's going to be a long journey again. I hope you guys are enjoying this gameplay so far. This game is so interesting. I thought, honestly, I thought it was going to be a game where I just hop in and they're like, this is how you farm. And you just live like a peaceful life in the village. But there's like so much story we're learning about. So many interesting characters. We're learning about our character's past. And there's so much combat too. And I really, really enjoy that. I don't usually play games with so much combat or that focus on combat or story that much. At least on my channel anyway. I play games um, a lot like this in my own time. So this is a really nice change. I know in my time at Porsche there was a lot of combat once you actually got into it. But I never got to that stage during my Let's Play. So this is really fun and a super nice change for the channel. I'm just so interested in the story. I hope you guys are interested too. This is so much fun. Okay, so here we are at Albie's cottage and looks like he's making something over the cauldron. He's so cute. Like, I know he's grumpy, but like, look how cozy he is on the fire over here. His house is so lovely. And I just have a fondness for bear characters. He's super cute. Oh, it's you. Have you figured it out? Really? I never expected you to be so efficient. That young provisioner helped you? No wonder. Still, I'm impressed by your courage. You aren't fully grasping the situation and yet you continue to press on. I'm not sure whether that's smart or careless. Very well. I'll answer your questions. What do you want to know? Um, tell me about the book. Scholars from the Royal Academy examined the relics and used their power to create spell books. They thought that we could use the same power that enraged the monsters to defeat them. Unfortunately, they stumbled upon a new problem. Not anybody can become a magic wielder. A person who can recite the knowledge of the spell books to control magic. Magic needs a vessel that's strong enough to hold its power. Your grandfather, Payne Thunderbun, was one of a few people who could. This is probably the reason why you can also harness the magic contained in that spell book. The problem we now face is that there are no magic orders remaining, as far as I know. You must be familiar with the anti-magic laws the Empire has imposed. Magic use was banned shortly after they succeeded in defeating the monster uprising. But there's no time. We need to move quickly. I still don't trust you completely, but you are the most suitable person to bear this task. We must gather the relics. Do you have the courage for this quest? Uh, of course. Yes, let's go. Thank you. Allow me to explain what you need to do. We need to retrieve the ancient relics. My colleagues sealed them away within several dungeons. To avoid discovery, they decided not to disclose their whereabouts. I believe that there's a dungeon nearby. That's where we should begin the search. Before you go, you must remember the most important thing. Do not let anyone else know about this, not even your superiors. Everything we've discussed in this cottage, you must keep to yourself. It will be dangerous for you, me, and the entire village if anyone associated with the Empire were to find out about this. We must be careful. Your safety is the utmost priority after all. We don't want to lose our only hope of restoring peace, do we? Good luck. Okay, so it's dungeon time. Head to the river cave in West Field and get the Relic of Power. If we want to end this calamity, we need to find the ancient relics. Let's start with the nearest dungeon. Okay, so I have been playing for an hour already, but I really want to do this dungeon. I think after we do this dungeon will be a great spot to end the video. I always forget I can't go this way, so now I've got to run away from the little carrots. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do this dungeon and hopefully find the first relic we need. And then we can carry on the rest of the story next episode. I wonder where the dungeon is. Hopefully it'll be easy to spot. I think it might be where that big gooey was. Yeah, I think it's over this bridge. There's a little tent here, there's little carrots. Oh, is this a teleport? It's a checkpoint. Okay, awesome. Ah! Hey, I was saving, you absolute poo! Stupid carrots. <laughs> With their silly little legs and their little skirt. Okay, so this is a dungeon. Let's head in. I heard that the monsters in this dungeon are stronger than those outside. Do you think we'll find an ancient relic in here? What if we've been tricked and die in vain? No, no, no. I won't let that happen. We need to survive, Nyan, and show the sage that we're capable of this task. Okay, so here we are. Um, it may not seem like it, but I'm very used to fighting in dungeons in games, because I play a lot of Elder Scrolls online. So this should be a breeze. Although I don't like bat enemies. They annoy me a lot. Please leave me alone. Oh my goodness, they're called Fluffy. <laughs> Hopefully the ancient relic is, like, obvious when we see it. Look at all these rocks, there's so many monsters. Get out of here, you silly little bat. 
Get out. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's around here? More chests. Oh, this might be it. Inside this chest, maybe? Uh, no. Just apples. <laughs> okay, so I assume we have to continue onwards. Let me just add some food to my... The quick grab area in my pocket because I imagine there's going to be lots of monsters. And I want to have health available. So let me just put this apple in this little slot for us to grab. So now we should be able to heal ourselves a lot easier. I can't go how cute graphics are in this game. But look how cute my little character's ears waggling, its little tail waggling. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's head up here. River dungeon second floor. Oh no, there's more fluffies up here. No one wants you. You're ruining everyone's day. <laughs> Always make sure to check inside the crates because we'll get some pennies. Oh my goodness. I love that the first two pieces of... Actually, the first three pieces of food we've received in this game for healing are all foods I like. Usually in games, it's like foods I dislike or don't want to eat. I've got croissants, which I love. What the heck is that? A shroomy. Oh no. I feel so bad attacking mushrooms. I love mushrooms. But we've got milk, which I love. We've got croissants and apples, which is my favorite fruit. Jeez, that toadstool enemy was like really easy to kill, but I felt so bad attacking them. Because you guys know me, I love fairy stuff and mushrooms. Look at these little fireflies over here. They're so pretty. Okay, so let's heal before we head into the next area. I think we have to kill all the monsters in each area to unlock the pathway to the next part. Yeah, okay. So we can head up here now, we've killed the last bat. River dungeon third floor. Okay, we've got more crates. Look at those big mushrooms and fireflies in the middle. That looks so magical. It'd be much more magical if I wasn't attacking a bat right now. <laughs> there are so many enemies. Oh my goodness. Luckily, I'm pretty good at killing them at this point. And we've got another chest here. 50 pennies. Oh my goodness. I hope that we have something cool to spend these on. You can probably buy like seeds for our farm. Maybe even cloves. I have no idea. Oh no, it's another shroomy. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize how scary its face is. I don't feel so bad about getting rid of it now. <laughs> it's not as cute as I thought. Look how beautiful those toadstools are, all the fireflies. It looks so magical and lovely. I wonder which level it is we're gonna find the ancient relic on, because we're on the third floor now. Oh, we got some mushrooms in this chest. Speaking of mushrooms, we need to kill this guy over here. Ah! Oh, there's another chest. We just got some more poor pennies. What about down here? Ooh, there's a big silver chest. Oh, we need a key for it, so the re relic might actually be in there. Hey! Why are you so angry, Shroomy? My goodness. Okay, we've killed all the enemies on this level, so we can head up the stairs now. It's rather quiet here. Hmm, that's strange. Wait, something's here. Get ready. Uh-oh. <gasps> it's the final boss. Okay, I think I'm ready. Oh my goodness, what the heck is that? Ew! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <gasps> oh? My goodness. Oh wait, I have a fire attack. I haven't even used that yet. How did I forget? I could have used fire attack this whole time. It would have been so much quicker. Okay, so he doesn't like that attack. We just dodge his attacks. Oh my goodness, his attacks like change shape in the way they get you. <gasps> Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, we did it. That was actually really easy and fun. <laughs> he was absolutely terrifying though, wasn't he? Oh my goodness. Phew, that guy was no fun. I'm guessing that every relic has a guardian like this. We should ask the sage about it. Anyway, let's retrieve the relic and get out of here quickly, Nyan. Okay, so here it is. Here's our lovely chest. We got a key. So this is probably for that chest. So let's investigate this. I imagine this is the relic. Oh my goodness, what's happening? Ooh, this gives me Breath of the Wild vibes. Ooh, magical. <laughs> okay, we got our relic of power. So on our way back, I'm gonna head back to that chest and let's see what we get in it. Of course the enemies have respawned. Of course they have. Just my luck. Oh my goodness, get out of here. Protecting the chest. Oh. 
a key used to open copper chests. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I could have teleported out of here if I actually knew that. I'm so stupid sometimes. <laughs> I thought the key was just for any chest. I didn't realize I need a silver key. Okay, let's go check back in with Sage and show him the relic. Albie's cottage is so cozy. Hi. How was it? Was the relic in the river cave? I must say I'm quite impressed to see you safely return with the relic. For someone relatively new to magic, you're doing a good job. It really runs in the family, huh? You can rest for now. I'll let you know when I have some new information about the relics. If you wish to learn some new spells, you can use my magic cauldron. It functions the same as a spell book. Oh, thanks. Now if you excuse me, I have to gather more information regarding the relics. I'm glad the sage finally recognised our abilities. Now he knows you're not just an ordinary soldier. <laughs> Are you curious about what happened between the magic wielders and the empire? They don't seem to be on good terms. It'd be great if we could meet a real magic wielder. Of course, Uncle Payne doesn't count since he never said anything about it and never practised in front of us either. Hmm, maybe we should ask the sage about it next time. Aren't you tired? I'm exhausted. Taking a break won't hurt, right? Let's head home and rest up. I can sense a whole heap of tasks coming our way. We should be ready. Oh, what's happening now? The chief is here. What is it, chief? Did something happen? Do you need our help? He's so cute. I love his character design. Hello, young soldiers. Are you doing well here? Oh no, it's nothing like that. I've come to give you some help. The areas around the village are teeming with monsters, of course. If you need some supplies to replenish your health after a fight, you can buy them from the village provisioner. Our cook, Miss Apple, makes delicious dishes if you bring her the right ingredients. Selling these dishes at the farm is a way to replenish your pennies as well. Please also visit our beloved blacksmith, Shamrock. He's very passionate about his work and loves to help adventurers craft new equipment. Oh, that sounds great! What do we need to do to craft new equipment, Chief? First, pay a visit to Shamrock and see which materials he requires. After that, you'll have to find those materials and bring them back to him. The most common way to get materials is by defeating monsters. If you have excess materials or items you don't need, you can put them inside the selling box. I'll arrange the trade for you and deposit the pennies in the morning. Remember to visit the shops before selling your materials here. You don't want to accidentally throw away some materials you need, do you? How thoughtful, Chief. Thank you so much. Did you know that your grandfather was an accomplished farmer? Really? We never knew. Yes, he was quite the farmer. Kiki has taken much inspiration from him. She's the village's only remaining farmer and seed seller. You should pay her a visit. She'll be very happy to share everything she knows about farming. Perhaps she'll help you fix the farm up a bit. Yay, I'm so excited. Well, that's all I wanted to say. I apologise if I've been talking for too long, kids. I hope I didn't miss anything. Rest well, young soldiers. Okay, so... I assume next time we're going to start farming properly. We'll be able to clean up this farm, I imagine. We're probably going to head back to see Sage Albie and talk about stuff. But for now, we're meant to be getting some rest. Oh, and it's raining, so next time we play, it'll be a nice rainy day in the game. So I hope you guys will look forward to that. If you want to see another episode, of course, please do let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more Katario Fables on the channel, because it's really up to you guys which series I continue and play more of on the channel, depending on whether you like them or not. So if you would like to see more Katario Fables, please let me know in the comments. Before I go, I do just want to say an extra special thank you to my Patreon supporters for supporting me this month. Your support really helps me out so, so much, and I love and appreciate you so much. Thank you. Of course, again, thank you so much to everyone at Katario Fables for letting me play this game in early access. I'm so grateful. I'm so interested in this game. The graphics are adorable. I love the character designs. The story's so interesting and it's honestly so much better than even I expected and I expected it to be great. Um, this is so much fun. I hope if this comes out before Katari Fables is out, I hope some of you out there will maybe want to pick up this game because I really enjoy it and I would definitely recommend it. So why not give it a go when it comes out? And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it was so interesting. I really like this game so far. So I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it too. But I do have to go now because I've been playing for a very long time. So if you enjoyed this video, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing. Only if you want to though. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're having a super lovely day. And I'll speak to you in my next video. Bye! Look at your